And we consider now the three-dimensional vector space over R, R to the third power, so R, R3. Elements of R3, vectors of R3 are triples of real numbers, so here we don't have them yet. We are still in the previous situation of elements, vectors in R2, and their geometrical objects here in the uh, in this plane called the Cartesian plane. This plane is not going to be enough to fit in a geometrical meaningful way the new vectors in R3. Therefore we'll have to modify the system, the um, coordinate system. Okay. So, as you see, we have the XY plane before that is still lying here horizontally, but we grew up in a, a third dimension with another extra axis, which we will call Z. Now we still have the same situation as before, but it is on the horizontal plane now, and we, we will use this third axis to fit the third coordinate in the vectors. x, y, z. Now the numbers that are giving the scale of the axis now are lifted up so we can see them better. As we have seen here already P, P2 switched to P3 and the coordinate of P2 that were 3 comma 2 now became 3 comma 2 comma 4. Therefore we picked up a new number so this is an element of R3 and we will try to see how to associate now to this vector a point in this new coordinate system. E exactly as we did in the passage from R to R squared, here we will start from P2, which is the vector including just the first two coefficients, and then moving according to the sign of the third coefficient, up or down, parallel to the z-axis, at the height given by the coefficient, the third coefficient. So in this case, the third coefficient is a 4, therefore we'll be moving up from P2 until we'll be hitting a height 4. Of course, height 4 now is kind of problematic to see because we are in the three-dimensional space, therefore we'll have to create some effect to give the idea that we are really at the height 4. Okay, so this is a plane that is parallel to the x, y, uh, plane to, to, to the xy plane but at the height 4 okay so this lies at the height 4 therefore we have the limit to which we'll be moving p2 up and as soon as we will be hitting this plane we will stop and that will be the point in which which will associate to the vector p3 let's see Okay, now we have written all the possible ways of constructing this point. So one way is starting from P1, which is uh, just the number, real number 3, and then uh, adding the second coordinate, which is 2, therefore moving it in this case along parallel to the y-axis uh, until we hit the distance 2 and then uh, 
parallel to the z-axis until we hit 4. Now we could have done as well just moving it up right up to 3 so starting from p1 again then going up to 4 and then moving towards the direction of y by the coordinate 2 so it doesn't really matter which order you start from you could have started from the second coordinate which is y going parallel to the y-axis until we hit 2 and then up by 4 and then along the parallel to the y parallel to the x-axis until we hit 3 and so on so these are all the possible ways of detecting this point associated to the vector okay so this is the the the, the very basic uh, construction that we will use for each of the other vectors you will see just have four, four edges two of them will describe p2 so the the first two coordinates and then the other two will basically be needed to describe the third coordinate in this case four so let's see what do with the other four vectors so we start from q2 we go to q3 the third coordinate of q3 is 6.5 so once again we will be going up the plane at the height 6.5 starting from q2 okay so now we are in a3 notice that a3 has a negative number has third coordinate so negative negative 3 therefore starting from a2 we will not have to go up so we still have to go parallel to the z-axis but not will not have to go up since it is negative we'll have to actually go down until we will reach the depth of 3 However, what happens is that the xy plane is, is opaque, is not transparent, so we will not be able to see it going down. Therefore, an intermediate step in the animation will make the, the xy plane partially transparent in order to see how the construction proceeds for a negative third coefficient. Okay. So you see, now the x-y plane became transparent and we have the plane at the at depth negative 3, which is red. Therefore, we will start from a, a2 and go down as down as we will hit negative 3. Okay. This is the construction in case of negative number. Now the, the fourth point, B3, is again a positive in the third coordinate. Therefore, the construction is just like in the first two cases. <laughs> 